What's going on guys? King Trats here back with another video on the channel. Uh, welcome to another episode of Unfiltered. Um, we went to Wawa. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what we ordered. I think we took someone else's food. We did. Yeah, pretty much. I think we took Alan's food. Because there's, I, I did not order chicken soup. Uh, we both got chicken soups. We also both got the goat um, mac and cheese, <laughs> which uh, is from like the ready to make, or what is it called? No yeah, matter. Exactly. I don't know. I, I love this shit. Um, I don't think he's ever had it. I never had I've it. I've gotten like three or four times and I think it's delicious. Usually I don't do this, but you know. I mean, it's ready made. Yeah. Who made it though? I don't know. Ready? Yeah. Try it. Just put it. Watch. If you've never gotten the ready made, you know it's buffalo, right? I said that. Yeah. Oh, purple bag. I bet it would all be. Purple bag of the Wawa. Good. Okay. Try the ready made. <laughs> is it not? Right? It's like surprisingly good. And we got two sandwiches. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know whose they are. No or I think got people after us. I got a classic wheat roll with pepper relish, provolone, cheese, ribbottom, uh, meat hinge, <laughs> sweet peppers hinge, jalapenos hinge, and uh, Creek. That's what it says on here. Like which hinge? Yes. I don't Is know. Is that a dating site? Yeah, I heard there's some crazy shit on hinge right now actually. What? Like now you can record voice messages on hinge. Like normally you had a profile and you had to like write like about me section. You can actually speak it now. It's weird. So I I've, I've been on obviously I've been on the clock app, the TikTok. And uh but I've seen people like speaking funny shit on Hinge. It's hilarious, bro. Why would they do that? Why would you I think it's good. You think that? I don't. You didn't hurt not about me. Hmm. What is this? I don't know. It's like a pepper thing. Pepper Jack. I'm not like the biggest dating app guy. I think it's stupid, but I think the more you can see someone. Like IRL, the better in real life, you know? Like, I think it's good that you can hear someone's voice beforehand because I don't know if you do this, but like when you ever see somebody that you might find attractive, like hearing them talk can either enhance or like make it worse. Yeah, but somebody can easily talk for them. I mean, if you want to go through all that and you're a different kind of weird, but I feel like you get a better idea of someone when you get to interact with them and hear their voice. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. But I feel like I can get a better interaction with somebody. I get more attracted to somebody if I can hear them interacting. Like, their voice, their demeanor. Mm -hmm. As opposed to, like... Reading them. No, just looking at a still picture. I've always thought it was better. You know? That's just a me thing. So what took them so long? That's the question. Right? I, I'm not a dating app guy. I couldn't tell you. But... They have it now, because I've seen it all over TikTok, where, like, women will screenshot your text message, your, your, like, voice message, and then post it later. Why are they posting it? They think it's funny. I saw one, I saw one on my Explore page in particular. How come I don't understand anything? I don't understand that. I don't get people these days. In the way. I saw one in particular, and the woman kind of got slayed for it. Like, it was a voice message from a guy, and he was like, I know the, he was Australian sounding, and he was like, I know the best place to get a donut, like donuts, and he described the donut, the desk, he described the donut, it was like, you know, it looks like a plain donut, but like, it's delicious, you would love it, blah, 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 and she posted it on her, like, TikTok, and people kept saying, like, you really thought you ate with that. <laughs> I guess she thought that he was weird, but everybody else is just like, he's donut guy, he's normal. What did you just say to me? Donut guy. So you never do like a dating app? No. I'm Why? Kidding. No. You're not wrong, it's weird. I'm just curious, like, why people have a success with it, but. Yeah, not like. <clears throat> 
it's just I don't judge anybody like if you want to or don't want to do something like that, I'm not gonna judge you on it. But like, yeah, why? Of course. For personally, me. why wouldn't you do it? I got a hard time. I got a hard enough time in person. What's that? It's gonna make it worse. That's a step down to me. Don't you think it'd be easier? No. No. So if you were a, per a man and you wanted to go on a date, you don't think that like a dating app would be easier? Yes, it's easier to get dates, but that doesn't mean it's gonna be a good one. I mean. That's anything though, isn't it? I don't think dating is a sales game, and that's what it is. Yeah, it is. You know yeah, I'm saying? I'll agree with that. 100%. I think, like, obviously, like, we don't agree on some things, but when it comes to certain shit, like, yeah, we definitely we get there. Dating apps 100%. Yeah. It's a sales pitch. That's all it is. Yes. I personally, and I've said this since the inception of internet, like, I don't think that the internet can capture me as a person. Like how, a picture and some it? some people they do though, they're better. It goes against the laws of life. To put it simply. What do you mean the laws of life? Like this isn't normal. What like what we're doing? For example. It's a it's a lesser version of dating, obviously, but but I mean, it, makes we're a video, world, it makes the world too small. It's not how it's supposed to be, in my opinion. The world shouldn't be at your fingertips, and it is. So, like, you don't like the internet? At all? For every one thing it's good, it's three bad. I've always said the internet is the best, worst invention ever. Because in that case, <coughs> evil always prevails. It's just... The same things you're saying are bad, are good. Yeah. Well, there's one good thing to me. That's it. The internet? Yeah. I think there's a lot of good things. Like, I've met people, people watching this video, people in general that I would have never met. Correct. If it wasn't for the internet. But I do not disagree with you at all. I think the internet sucks. It does. <laughs> because ruined it, everything. It made the world smaller. It made things almost too easy. Yeah, very bad. Very bad. Very. It is very bad. I agree with you. And I, I think the internet is the best and worst invention ever. It's like NAFTA. Terrible trade deal. <laughs> yeah, it's just bad news. But it's not. I know. The only good thing is the spread of information. Because you can spread bad information, but you can spread good information too. Okay. okay only think a good thing. Think about, in general, like, okay, you're, you're, like, you're, you're a person, you like sports. I do. You wouldn't be able to watch half the shit you watch without the internet. Why? You know, like, because the TV. Yeah, like you can watch every game streaming live. Yeah, that's the internet. It's something that we like. But I tell you what, if I can trade it and I have to sacrifice that, I would give that up. I don't agree. I, I okay. I don't. I do agree with that. With what? What I just said? Yes. Yeah. But I love that kind of stuff about the internet. No, of course. Realistically, it has like three benefits, but I think it's got a lot of negatives that outweigh the benefits. Think about it. What three? Everything you need is right here. It shouldn't be that way. As enticing as that is, it just goes against the laws of like life, man. Here's the crazy part, though. Not that I don't disagree with you, but people in the 1920s said the same thing about the radio. Yeah, and they were right. We just got so used to the radio that it's like we don't even consider it anymore. Okay, but in that right? case, well, yes, but I mean, progress is good, but progress progress sucks too. Believe it or not. There's a saying in Latin, and the saying says, "What nourishes me also destroys me." Correct. I feel that way about the internet in general. I love everything about the internet, but I hate everything about the internet. Yep. Because I may not be the most old school person, but in certain things I am. Like, I like to keep... I know you are. I like to keep certain things to myself. You know, like, I don't like the world knowing my business, but at the same time, I love the fact that I can interact with the world, and I would never be able to do that if the internet wasn't a thing. You know, it's, it's, it's tough because I can't... I can't pick which one I like more or worse. Is that so good? Weird. 
<laughs> Alright, I gotta try it. <laughs> Fucking beard are weird. I don't know. I feel like... It's mid. Right? Yeah, it's like basic. It tastes like it's Progresso. It's like school lunch. Yeah, so. like Progresso. Like, yeah. like Campbell's. You know, chunky. But... There's so many things that are so good about like, you know. Oh, I get it. Believe me. But you sound like you almost like don't like anything about it. No. So you want to know my three things that I like about yeah. it? Yeah. I like the fact that it spreads information because I'm big on that. Well, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I'd rather have all the information bogus and truth, and I'll decipher what's what. Mm-hmm. That I like about it. So I get that. Um, like you said before, like for the good stuff, like sports, movies, even stuff like like Wikipedia. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but even that can get a little weird too. Because like anybody can write on Wikipedia, right? But you just said it. Your it's your job to. Yeah. What's right and what's right, you know? Yeah, you're right. I guess. You know what I mean? Like, but I like to get my stuff. I'd rather hear what people have. to... I'm in an age where I'd rather hear what the common folks have to say as opposed to a news outlet. So you like going in the comment section? Love it. <laughs> Love it. Oh my god, it's the best. Comments are the best. So that's number two. Number three is. Hmm, I don't know if number three actually. I guess it's good in case of emergencies. Oh, definitely. That would be number one, really, but... Everything else, you could keep it. I think about how, like, it changed the face of... Okay. It's good for money, too. People want to start careers. Oh, That's definitely. a good thing, too. You know how people talk about, like, present-day athletes? Like, you know... I'll give you, like, an example. And it, I don't think it's a great example, but... Tristan Thompson got caught. He was out of the club, like he was with a girl, and like the the, the cameras and TMZ. That Terrible. Whole thing. That's internet, right? Terrible. And then I go back in time to if you ever look up like articles about Babe Ruth. Now, this is obviously alleged. I don't know if it a hundred percent happened, but it was an article in the newspaper where he crashed into a water fountain with a fourteen year old girl. Driving. Yeah, Babe Ruth, the greatest. Back. Arguably the greatest baseball player who's ever lived. Babe Ruth. Yeah. Crashed into a water fountain with yeah. a girl who was underage. Not that it mattered back then, quote unquote, but it happened. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine if that happened in like 2020? Kind of did. Not the best player ever. No, but Carl Malone. But that wasn't 2020, that was in 90s. Yeah. 80s actually. 1988. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that about Carl Malone. I sent you that article. I know you knew about it. Oh, I was like, yeah. That's Carl why, Malone. That's why he doesn't get much credit. You think that's why? One reason, yeah. Carl Malone is... A lot of people don't know about that. They no, they don't. The rats, yes, bro. they did. Carl Malone's got pulled, bro. Yeah, but it was his, the girl's own family. I can believe that. You I mean, know he was young, story. though. Wasn't he, like, 19? He was wasn't 20. he in college? Yeah, he was in... Doesn't make it wrong. I'm just saying, like... Yes. You know the whole that story? messed him up, too, apparently. Like, he wasn't, like... He was like bragging. He, he was. <laughs> Let me give you the brief story about how it happened. I wonder if John Stockton did that. Like, <laughs> if he was over there. There's no way Jack does like that. No. <laughs> For those who. John don't... Stockton probably hooked them up. Nah. He was, a, he he was, was in college sister. when it happened. Yeah, I know. For those who don't know, brief overview. Huh? For those who were born before 2000, after 2000, I should say, Carl Malone was. Arguably, top five basketball Easy. player of all time. Easy. Still is. Definitely top ten basketball player. Oh, hands player. down. The guy's on oh, every time. record. Yes. So, Carl Malone, um, it came out after his career because this is before the Twitter age. Like, no one knew this kind Long of stuff. before, yeah. Yeah, so, Carl Malone's last year was like maybe like 2002, 2003. There was like the Kobe. Remember he played with Shaq and Kobe oh, in the Lakers? No, was in the Lakers? Yeah, Shaq and Kobe, it's only like, like mid-2000s. Anyway, it came out later on in his career that oh, Carl Malone... could be good. Yeah, it looks good. It came, on later, it came out later on in his career that Carl Malone um, fathered a child with a 12-year-old, 13-year-old girl. 13. Carl yeah. Malone. 
Um, he was 20 at the time, and even he was apparently the girl's neighbor. And the parents of the child didn't want to get him in trouble because they knew he was going to go to the league, and they knew he would get a bag out of it. So wow, they settled it out of court. He probably gave him so much money. He did. It was a lump sum too. Here you go. Maybe he was getting over a breakup, and she was just a rebound. Nah, definitely not rebound. No way. You get it. I know. No. <laughs> no. So we fathered a child. He also fathered a child with an NFL offensive lineman. What? I'm dead serious. No, it didn't come out right. He fathered a child with an NFL offensive... No, okay. What did you say? He had a kid in the 80s who ended up being an offensive lineman in the NFL in the 2000s. Oh. Not with... The ch That's you know what it sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, gotcha, gotcha. He fathered a child with somebody who ended up being an offensive... So... He apparently got paid, like, he paid these people hush money to not say anything. Right. And the kid turned 18, and Carl Malone literally said, listen, it's too late. Can't be your dad. Look it up. I'm like, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's messed up. You ever seen the article of Carl Malone? He's, like, in, in like, they, obviously, you know, he's the mailman, and he's in, like, a skin-tight USPS costume, like... Swole as fuck. <laughs> you, so people don't know this kind of stuff about people like that. That I never thought about. Carl Malone fathered a child, and the kid turned 18, wanted to get to know his dad, and Carl Malone basically said, listen, it's too late. I'm not joking. Wow. Apparently, like, five or ten years later on down the road, he ended up, like, they go fishing together now. What? Yes. <laughs> and... It, it carries on to what we were saying before. These kids, now, this isn't, Carl Malone did this. Could you imagine Carl Malone doing that in the Twitter era, in the Facebook era, in the internet, in your business era, sleeping with a minor? Not only a minor, but she's like 13. No fucking way. No way. No way. Weird stuff still goes on now, though, obviously. Yes, but the point that I'm making is, this isn't new shit that people have been doing that's messed up. Right. It's just now the information is so readily available. I would like to think that Carl Malone wouldn't do it in a time like this. But he did. No, not in the Twitter era. He still would have. I think he would have did it. It's so easy to get exposed then. Now. Now. Yeah, you have to be more careful. Yeah. But things that he did, so like fathering a child with a 13-year-old and a 20-year-old, as messed up as this sounds, I don't think he could have stopped himself because it was wrong then. It was illegal. Yeah, but but that media is a big uh, roadblock. The people. court of public opinion. Correct. Very good. I think that re that stops people from doing things. So the internet's a good thing. In that respect, yeah, I would have to agree with that. Sure. But not everybody's also calm alone. Like. Actually, everybody is Carl Malone. No, no, meaning I think people really all don't that. care. What? They're all doing that. Yeah. Like, why are, Why is everybody wearing dresses? Yeah, that's crazy. Because that's what I'm saying. Like, what's going on? The Kid Cudi thing? I don't know. I really don't know. Exactly. Okay. No, you do know, but... Now, here's the outside influence of what he said why he did it. There's no answer that can sit right with me. You're familiar with Kurt Cobain. Yes. We were like, we were too, like, we didn't get Kurt Cobain. We were young, yeah. yeah. So, like, we were like, just like, like kids. Like, we newborn. can reflect. We, we were literally like newborns. Right. So, we didn't understand Kurt Cobain until it was too late. But apparently there was a party in the, in the early 90s where Kurt Cobain showed up, like, in a, in a, in a dress. Like, in a, in a wedding dress. Apparently Kid Cudi did that because Kurt Cobain did it. Like, direct, same dress, whole nine yards. Why? I don't know, but that's where. Like that's a like a very pleasant story, but why are you still doing that? Like it's a feel good story. But yeah, but I'm not buying it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why Kurt Cobain did it. Look, I mean, do what you're gonna do, but I don't know. I know I'm being serious. I don't know why Kurt Cobain. I know Kurt Cobain had. So why now? He could have did it for thirty years. So he had to do it now. Okay, Cuddy. You know? I don't know. The Everything baby dressed up in a diaper. Yeah. Why? Have you heard this? A baby. That's why, like, like, come on. Have you heard this whole thing with the baby? 
No, I, let me tell you something. I stopped paying attention to a lot the last couple, month and a half, two months, because I had enough. I'm through with it. The baby has a baby with, uh, I, don't, I don't really know what she is. I know who she is at this point, because I've seen it too much. Her name's Danny Lee. Um, she's, oh, Danny Lee's good. Okay, well, yeah. her. Yeah. They had a rapper. Baby. Yeah. She's a rapper? I think so, yeah. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Well, they had a baby. Got a baby, and her had a baby. Right. And, uh... She got laid. Yeah. So, her, so he has to dress like the kid now? No, but their whole thing is, like, they, they had a baby together, and she was living with him for, like, three months. And according to him, she, like, hit him. And then he, because he tried to... This is according to, like, the stories. I don't know how much of it's true or not, but he... He live streamed him telling her she had to leave his house because he tried to document it. So I don't really know why he dressed up like a baby, but I don't think that's new. So you would not dress up like a baby. Not even for Halloween. Not even for $10 million. Well, wait a minute. That's why they do it. That's what people have to understand. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? That's not why they do it. Huh? Who's gonna say that? Who's gonna say dress up like a baby, I'll give you 10 million? <laughs> no. What do you mean? I don't think that's how it goes. So you think that the baby woke up one day and started, he wanted to dress up like a baby? For no reason. No, I think when they get into that realm, their brain gets polluted. They don't be. They don't think right anymore. So you think he did it on his own free will? Absolutely. Then really, absolutely. I've been craving cornbread. Oh, it's, it's gonna hit. It's good. It's sweet, but it's good. Texture it's and everything. Sticky. Yeah. It's sticky. I know it's yeah. coming. Not bad. What am I tasting though? I know. It's weird. It's, it's like a sweetness in there, but the texture is good. I like. No, it's it's actually not bad, but I'm tasting like like vanilla beet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck am I tasting? It's like yeah. No, seriously, what am I tasting? I don't know. It tastes like like no. There's definitely vanilla extract in here or something. Something that doesn't belong in cornbread. Right exactly. They tried to make it like too much f flavor and. It's like it the up. stereotype of white people putting raisins in potato salad. You don't know what I'm talking about. Nah. You have potato salad. Love potato salad. You ever seen potato salad with raisins in it? Never. Who makes your potato salad? Family? Yeah. I, I just dislocated my whole <laughs> <laughs> There's an injury at this table every time I'm here. I forgot. So your family makes your potato salad? Mm hmm. Raisins? Yeah. That's a thing. That's like a meme. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Like, I, see, I, 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 I don't put this stuff. I talk about this kind of shit a lot. Like, I dealt with, like, like very Anglo-Saxon, Caucasian people in college where I didn't deal with that here. It was like a, like a regular, like a weird, yeah, they put raisins in potato salad, bro. Like, I don't even have, like, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a smart-ass remark for that. They, like, that, that's what they did. Very weird. I just told this story yesterday. Like I was, someone who just needs more fiber in their diet. But they don't it tastes know. like it should be packaged, right? That it's got a weird like. It's got an artificial taste. Like, am I tasting cinnamon? No, definitely not cinnamon. I can taste the cornbread, but there's something else in it that doesn't belong. It could have left it out. Yeah, it doesn't belong there. It's good, but it's like, like to what me, the, the texture got it. I'm big on texture. Well, you eat Whole Foods cornbread at one point. Oh, that nobody could eat that. It wasn't good. especially at the rate I'm. It doing. was not good. It was good. That's tough. Let me tell you something. Good on more than one level. No. You used to walk around the mall. Absolutely. Whole... Absolutely. Do you understand how big that was? I was there. It was the size of that. I used to eat that whole right thing, yeah. bro. Uh, I gotta get back to that. You're not gonna do it. I don't think they sell it anymore. No, they do. No way. I was just there. They don't sell that brick of cornbread. They do. Show me then. Because there's no way. How do you? How can I show you? Because Amazon bought it and it changed, bro. Bezos destroyed that place. You don't like Jeff Bezos? No. Miserable guy. 
Why? How do you destroy Whole Foods? He did. Jeff Bezos is the epitome of capitalism. Yeah. Destroyed it. How do you not like him? There's then? no there's no there's no more cornbread. He is what we've created. No, he's not. He's capitalism? A, he's a monopoly, that guy. That's, that's what happened. That's not capitalism, is Tim it? Robbins in capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> that's not capitalism. How is it not? That's corruption. Let's be honest. Okay? Capitalism is corruption. Yes, but there's a fair way to do it in a wrong there's a right way and a wrong way. Let's be honest here. When you, you got a guy who's a plumber that earns this, that's capitalism. Wait, what? You got a guy who starts his own business as a plumber. That's the true definition of capitalism. True capitalism is not Amazon. I hate to break it to you. That's what happens in capitalism, though. Like, that's how free markets that's are That's corruption. He didn't do that legitimately. But that's the byproduct of capitalism, isn't it? It's the corruption aspect, yeah. But there's also legitimate capitalism. <laughs> what is legitimate capitalism? What you and I do. Small businesses. You could still be a big business, but just this guy's got 173 trillion dollars. How is that's not capitalism? We're going to give it back. Yeah, I think he should. He would never. Of course, he you? won't. I would never get there. Say so you did. Impossible. Say so you did. I can't. He did. How am I going to get there? He did. He is the devil. That's right. I said it. I don't think you get what I'm saying. Like you get what I'm saying. It's apples and oranges. Like there's no way. Let me tell you something. How much is he worth? Right now? Yeah. Uh, about $220 billion. Okay. After $400 million, I would feel terrible. I agree with you. There's a certain point that you have to, and I say this a lot, like, there's a certain point you have to get to as a, like a billionaire, like a, like a wealthy person, where you have to be like, like how much is enough? Exactly. Yes. It's a sickness. But he was created by a free market economy. Let me tell you something. I would feel, I, I wouldn't even be able to sit there knowing people know I have this money. How about that? He doesn't actually have that money though. But people know him as the ex number, the, the, the ex richest guy in the world. That's disgusting to me. I'm gonna tell you what the scariest- I almost get claustrophobia for the guy. I agree with you. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Ugh. I'm gonna tell you what the scariest part about like, Bezos in particular is. He doesn't have anywhere near what he says he has. So he's on paper. Well, of course, his right? most of his money is is in like it's tied up. No, in a shareholder yeah. of being of Amazon, of Blue. Uh, what's the, what's the, the company that went to the moon? I forget what it's called Blue Origin, and so on. But the scary part is about when you have that much money, you take loans out based off your assets. So if you go to any kind of loan place and you ask for you know, I want a hundred million dollars. I'm going to buy this. Who's going to tell you no? Nobody. How can you tell him no? Right. And the crazy part is, when a normal person like me or you or the average person watching this video goes to a loan officer, you have to put up a certain amount when you are going to finance that high amount of money. So if I'm going to buy a house that's worth 400k, which you know really not that much, but you usually got to put up at least 10 percent, right? You know, a couple grand. He doesn't have to do that because he leverages his actual assets. So if you're Jeff Bezos, this is what scares the shit out of me about this. If you're Jeff Bezos and I take out a loan for, I don't know, $4 billion, for me and you, that's insane. For him, that's not even close to what he's actually worth. He leverages that against his own assets. So he says, listen, I'm worth $300 billion. And I think it's like 250 at this point, but I'm worth $300 billion. Like, you're not going to tell. What bank is going to tell Jeff Bezos no? Because if they tell him no, he'll buy it. <laughs> Think about it. So, when you say that he has enough money to buy the bank he's actually getting a loan from, if he doesn't pay his loan back, which nine times out of ten he doesn't, who's going to actually come collect that money? That scares me. If I'm Jeff Bezos and somebody says, listen, you haven't paid your car payment of $1,000 a month, like seriously, in three months, uh, we need our money back. He'd be like, listen, if you try to take this money from me, I'll just buy your bank. Well, why wouldn't he make the payment, though? He doesn't have to. You're thinking like a human. You're not thinking like this guy who took a dick to the moon. Yeah, but I don't... I, I am a majority shareholder? Absolutely. You're the guy. You, you're the final call. You know the guy who makes the decisions the bank does not own it. You know that. You're the guy. Whatever title you want to give yourself. 
even that guy doesn't own it. Nobody if owns Jeff Bezos is known for not paying back his loans and I own the bank, I got news for you. I don't care who he is, I'm not giving him the loan. Then he'll buy it. Go ahead, buy it. Who's he giving it? Who's he gonna buy it from? Every other piece of it. He'll buy it. Can't buy it. When you're worth fucking um, private bank. Exactly. He he he's not buying it from me. What? If he's gonna buy the bank, that he might as well just use his own money for whatever he needs. I'm not giving you an opinion. I'm telling you what he does. No, I understand that. I'm it's telling you. Gabagool? It's Gabagool over there. No, seriously. It's Wawa Gabagool. No. That's a Spatter in Daesh that I think you got. Pretty good. No. 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 Food around here is terrible. I said it. You know how many people watch Garbage it? food. You know how many people watch, watch this? Yeah, what are you gonna say? Do you know how many people are watching this right now? Yeah. Food stinks around here. Or like, yo, the food around here is amazing. I wish I lived here. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to break it to him. I like the food around here. It's really not that good of a thing. What can't you get around here that's good? No, you can get it. It ain't good. Where is it better? Canarsie? No, I never love Garfield. Canarsie is probably phenomenal There's food. your problem. What? You never love Garfield. I shouldn't have to. What does it even mean? We could have everything we need right here. The food around here. Is we do. Nah. All right. Name a type of food you can't get that's good around here. Yeah, but it's not good. Name a type of food you can't get around here that's good. Italian food. Come on. If you're going to go out for an Italian dinner, where are you going to go? What is an Italian dinner? You know what it is. Not gabagool. If anything I say right now. Oh, no, not you're... gabagool. Yeah, where are you going to go? Anything I say right now, you're going to throw up. Tell me. Anything I say right now, name a dish. No, no, no. I put the ball in your court. You want good Italian food, where are you going to go? Legitimately asking you. It depends on what I'm looking for. Italian dish. Like what, though? Whatever you want. You got to be more specific. Come on. Like, that's like saying I want, like, you know, Spanish food. Like, do you want empanadas? Do you want, like, you know, like, it, it matters. I'm being vague on, on purpose. I'm giving you the but, option. Pick your that... food and where are you going to go? Do I want pizza? Do I want pasta? No. No. <laughs> My God. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> do I want pizza? No. Do I want pasta? No. What do I want then? All right. You want a nice plate of linguine and clam sauce. Where are you going to go? Honestly? Nowhere. No, I'd probably cook it myself. Exactly. That rests my case. That's what I mean. It's a shame. I, I know what I'm going to say. This is the first thing you're going to want. You're going to shit all over this so bad. <laughs> I don't want to say it. No. What? Good. I'm not eating the false. No. Can't possible. Can't, can't go there. No, no, no. Nope. They don't actually make food. No. Better. There's nothing going no, on. No, no. You walk in, it's empty. My brother Dominic made a sandwich. Forget it. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I'm listening. No. All right. Can I say this out loud now? Yeah. He's going to shit <laughs> all over what I'm about to say. It's terrible. I just want you to know how much he's going to shit on this before I can say anything. No. With that being said, I'm going to say it. No, do it. And this guy's going to tell me get the fuck out of here. Okay. You ready? <laughs> Fuck. You can't say it. I know, because linguine and clam, I don't know what I'm going to say. No, it's not there. They don't even have it. What are you going to say? Cream pasta. N get, do me a favor. You're not serious. I can. You're asking me to go order. I, linguine and fucking, it's just, he's just. You would go to K pasta for linguine and clam sauce. I'd go to my house. Thank you. I feel better when you say that. The hearth makes good for linguine and clam sauce. Have you ever had it? How can you say that? Can't say it. you never had it. All right. Roses. All right. All right, listen. They don't even make it. <laughs> yes, they do. That gives you a salad sandwich. <laughs> wait, wait. No. Linguine and clam sauce gives you a sandwich? No. Roses don't even make linguine and clam sauce. No shot. I'm here to tell you. They don't make it over there. The hearth makes pasta. All they do over there is this. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Seriously, you'll go in there anytime that's all they're doing in there. And the guy says what? He says, hey, man, what you at? I didn't do it. You watch the naked game. Wait, what game? That didn't sound good. <laughs> the naked game. I know what you said. But that's what. All right. He said the Knicks game. So I just want you to know that. The New York Knicks. He didn't say what anybody no, thinks he said. he said. There is no TikTok or sound bite. I'm here to dispute that. Yes. Because if he did, that's <laughs> like, you know what It sounded so bad. I know. I said, you watched the what game? The what game? <laughs> That's not what you Nick said. The Nick game. game. New York Knicks. With an Italian. I know what you yes. said. Good. Let me get a That sounds horrible. Yeah. Anyway.
Trying to be the first person to get canceled. Forget about it. Yeah, it's alright. Look, it's a good run. No, oh, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Okay, pasta makes good pasta. <laughs> they got a good lunch special. I've been there for lunch, but I've never had, no, I've never had linguine and clam sauce there. Because that's too simple of a dish to order out, in my opinion. Yeah, but it's very easy to mess up, too. It's a simple dish. The Hurt makes pasta aglio with aglio. It's amazing. Aglio. Aglio. Phenomenal. You think linguine and clams is easy? Yes. I don't know, man. It depends on the clams. Again, you're naming ingredients. I'm talking execution. The main problem with pasta dishes, simple pasta dishes, like, you don't, you never even heard of cacio e pepe, but cacio e pepe is one of the simple pasta dishes in the world. And the e the hardest part about that is somebody using good ingredients. Like, linguine and clam sauce is not hard to make. You gotta have the right shit. Right. You gotta talk. Clams are, you gotta have the right clams. So you can get good clams around here. Yes. And that's all you need. Why are you going to a fucking restaurant? I can make my, well, I can't, but. Linguine and clam sauce takes 10 minutes to make. The right way? Yes. I'm saying, that's my point. Like, Do you open your own clams? Me? Yeah. I, look at I'm, I'm deal. You gotta open your own clams. <laughs> Me? Yes. Yes. It takes a long time. I mean, if you know how to do it. Then. Uh, well, yeah, but still, you get a dozen, two dozen clams. No, yeah, you get the knife, you... It's hard. You gotta freeze them for half an hour, first of all, to get them open up. No, no, I cut those fuckers open. See? I don't think it's that hard. It's tough. It's tough. You, you don't even need muscles. I don't eat muscles. I don't like muscles. I admit it. Muscles are delicious. I'm like the only person in the world that doesn't like I muscles. I love muscles. Everybody loves muscles. <laughs> yeah, do it. They're delicious. Oh, you might as well just eat sand. Eat sand. No, they're it's horrible. It's the same sometimes. thing. No, I agree with that. They're oh, God, I can't get over that. They're delicious, but don't eat them. The sauce is good. The muscles themselves, disgusting. The red look, sauce? Look at a muscle. Or a white sauce. Oh, God, it looks like, I can't even tell you. You know the worst one God is? God forbid. The worst is when you eat a muscle? And you can't open the shell because like the, the muscle's still stuck. It's disgusting. Honestly, I can throw up thinking about it. I don't get it. What? The food around here is second to none. And you don't like it. Yeah, There's no and you picked it used to be good. Everything went downhill. You don't like like other like you pick the genre of food that you know how to cook. Well, but, I picked the food that I I mean a genre of food that like that I know best. But you know how to I cook. Like that. That's fair. And you want good linguine and clams, so you make it yourself. I'm not going to judge Peruvian food because yeah. those are not good Peruvian food around here. To me, it's good. It is good. You still got to travel a little bit. I can get it in Garfield, are you? But you definitively said it's not good. Mm. And it is good. Should be better. Where are you going to Peru? Machu Picchu? You food? Yeah, Cusco. I got to get over there. Colombian food? And the Predator? You gotta go to no to uh, Noches in Colombia, and it's still fugazi, I'll tell you. I wouldn't go to Noches for good Colombian food, though. Noches has good food. Yeah, but it's anglicized. You know what I mean? But how? They don't, they're, it's all Colombian Spanish people that work there. It's like I don't know. Certain places, like you gotta go to the hood spots to get the real shit. You know what I mean? It's like it's like going to like you know, like if I you can't go like as a person who grew up eating like. I hate the term soul food because it's like a stupid term, but I grew up eating soul food. I would never go to like Sylvia's, which is like one of the most popular soul food chains, like not chains, but restaurants in the country for soul food. I wouldn't do it because it doesn't, it tastes anglicized. It tastes like they made it for like, as bad as it sounds, but like white people to eat it. That's racist. Who's got a good burger? Like fucking waste of Keenan and Kel. Not even. Steve. Never had it. Then you can't say it's not good. Other than him. I just named a good burger place. Alright, I don't know. Other than him. Bobby's Burger Palace. Closed down. It did. That's, how good, it, that's how good it was. It was terrible. I didn't like it at all. There you go. Jam Burger. It's good? Yeah. <laughs> I just got two places. What do you mean? I haven't had either of them. And you can't say there's no good food if you haven't tried it. That's not good. I heard a pastrami joint in Garfield is forget it. That's a good place. See? Phenomenal. That's what you said no good food. Just got here a week ago at that place. No, it's been three months. No, it's besides been up for three months and it opened for three months. But you said there's no good food. 
You no. should try that. Oh, uh, bro, you're missing out. I know. Every brisket time I, is eh. My dad said. My dad texted me. Like, I told. I sent my dad there, and you know, my dad's like he was a regular at Cassis because he worked in Tribeca. He said it's the best uh, pastrami. Yeah. You know that he's had it in New Jersey. Yep. Which is crazy to say. Yep. So how can you say there's no good food here? Mm. To me, there's no better food place here because if you name a type of food, you can find above average to great food in this area. Name a kind of food. Sushi. What? Like, you know, Latin like American kind of stuff with sushi. Like, the sushi really can't be that good here because we're not even at the ocean. I'm sorry. Is the Hudson River not like like an estuary? No. It is. Yeah, but you're gonna trust something coming out of the Hudson. I mean, Jimmy Hoffa's in there. I thought he was in the Midlands. He, he sleeped in there. No, he's not in the Midlands. I know. I heard they try to find him. Yeah, no, they're never gonna find him, you know. No. Never. No, it's possible. People think he's Jimmy Hoffa. I've been talking about Jimmy Hoffa all day. I know. I have because I sent you the thing, but I've been talking to everybody. A lot of people didn't know who he was. I can't believe that. Because it's people like it's old head, now. You know where? It's been forty years. Yeah. Like, I don't guess forty years. It's a. But a lot of people don't know who Jimmy Hoffa is. Yeah. I'm gonna watch that movie. I gotta watch that again. Which? I'm not because you're gonna hate it. Don't. It's good. Which? Nicholson. Oh. <laughs> the whole movie is going Join the Deemsters. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> That's the whole movie. Brutal. The movie. Terrible movie. Hoffa? Dash? Clock and math? What do you mean? No, he was good in that. I got. I can't lie. The movie was fantastic. Yeah, it was good. Why? Like you don't want to. No, play. I was best with it. No, you actually don't. You don't want to like things. No, is, I like. I like that one. It was good. No. But you, you actually played a good Hoffa. I've never seen the real one. What do you mean? Jimmy Hoffa. I never. Like, I were not alive for that. He himself? You mean? Man, guy disappeared in seventy. Yeah, no, what, I know. Seventy-five. But like from all the stuff, you know. For people who don't know who like Jimmy Hoffa is, he's been a meme. Not a meme, but he's kind of been a meme in New Jersey for a very long time. Jimmy Hoffa was a my like Chris Collinsworth, here's a guy. Here's a guy that Jimmy Hoffa was the president of the Teamsters Union, uh, which is like the union of all unions. More or less, uh he disappeared <laughs> in, the, in the in the mid seventies and no one knows where to find him. So if you're from New Jersey, it's kind of like an unsung um what's the word? Like understanding, I guess. Everybody from New Jersey like says they know where Jimmy Hoffa is, but no one actually does, and everybody thinks he's in the Meadowlands, the Giant Stadium where the Giants play. That whole area. If you're not from Plus, because he was like more, like a prominent figure of that time to go like missing. He was like the prominent. He was, yeah, guy was powerful. Head of the Teamsters Union. That's like forget it. People don't get what Teamsters are. No, though. if they don't get that, because they're not they're not like what it well, you know. It's like not the same. Seems to forget about Union. Back then, Jimmy Hoffa was in the, like, he was in control of a lot of things. They sent him to prison. Do you know how he got out of jail? Do you know why he went to jail? Oh, I'm trying to think. I forget. Why do you go to jail? Fraud. Wiretap fraud. Um, mail fraud. No, he's doing things. He's really? Doing. He tried to buy a judge because they were charging him with fraud. So he tried to buy a judge on that trial. Oh, so Not a judge, but a jury. Ah. So he got 12 years, Jimmy Hoffa. He served five. Do you know he got out of jail? Crazy. I was reading about all this shit like in the last few. I don't know why, but I've been reading about Jimmy Hoffa for a while. You know he got out of jail? He got pardoned. Like he Kennedy got pardoned him? No, Kennedy hated him. You're on the right track. Walton Clarence. Johnson? Ford? We went too far. There's only one president before that. Reagan? No. No, he was after, the other way. the other way. Who was after Johnson? Who was after Johnson? Um, not Carter. No. <laughs> the other way. Yeah, you went too far. Who was after Johnson? Who's, who served after Kennedy? Johnson. Who served after Johnson then? You're forgetting, like, the guy. Don't tell me. Wait a minute. You can't tell me now. There's not that many presidents in that area. I know, but I'm shot right now. <laughs> you're, you're literally forgetting, like, the president back then. He was the president during NAM. Um, Nixon. Nixon. Nixon pardoned him. I can believe that. Nixon you believe that shit, though? Oh, yeah. 
Like, I know you, obviously Nixon is literally like the most corrupt president ever because he got caught, but he pardoned Jimmy Hoffa. Yeah, it makes sense. So then Jimmy Hoffa got out of jail and he tried to get his spot back as the Teamsters yes. president. And he said, listen, Jimmy, and you're out. Happened. No. And he went against him. <laughs> and then what happened? There's, you know, there's a problem. What happened. Yeah, that's it. So there's a problem. So Jimmy Hoffa back then, I just told the whole story. Um, he went to a diner and no one ever saw him again. That was it. Um, well, he had a big beef with a big guy, too. A couple of them, but yeah. yeah. Tony Pro. Problem's on him. You don't mess with him. <laughs> so, um, in, in 2019, there was a guy that basically said, uh, I don't know if you know this, but um, he could not confess, but he was in, he was doing Fed time. And they asked him, it was, you know DJ Vlad? That guy does all, like, the rapper. He does a lot of mob interviews now. These guys talk. DJ Vlad interviewed a guy in 2019. Yeah, I, I shit you not. Which guy saw it? And they asked him where Jimmy Hoffa was. And the guy goes, listen, I can't tell you that, but he's someplace wet. <laughs> then he said, um, the people they said was a part of it weren't really a part of it. More or less that um, the person who actually did it is in prison right now. But I'm not going to tell you who it is. This was DJ Vlad. Then he interviewed. The, the guy's name is on the internet, but the interview was there too. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. But yeah, Jimmy Hoffa just literally like like couldn't find him. He's been missing for 40 years. And the crazy part about the Teamsters, like I said, the Teamsters. You know the Teamsters' largest client is UPS. Till this day, do you know who the president of the Teamsters is right now? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this because you shit yourself. The president of the team, sir, you can look this up right now. Jimmy Hoffa Jr. Yeah, really? I swear to God. He's been reelected three times since 2006. Wow. And Jimmy Hoffa Jr. That's wild. <laughs> I swear to God. And the largest client of the Teamsters Union till this day is the UPS, United Parcel Service. Right now. Look all this shit up. I watched the same of the Bull Cup podcast. You ever watch it? No, I can't. It's good. Really? And they asked him about it too, and you know, this is Samuel Bull. You know, he, he, he might have heard some things. He said, you know, I'm you know, I <laughs> he <laughs> said Billy Nixon. He is. He said, you know, a lot of people ask me that and I can't speak on that, but I tell you this much, you're never gonna find his body. No, because I don't think there no, is one. No, they, they can't. They he's they I think what they did was they, they chopped him up yeah. and they sent I don't him. think his body exists. No, you can't, like, like people think they're gonna find like gonna bones find remains yet. It's yeah, not gonna no. happen. No way. I said that today because somebody was like, wow, he's in the middle ends. Because they in in 2019 when they built the new giant stadium, they dug up the old exactly. giant and they said they were gonna find him and they no said way. no. No. And someone asked me today, they were like, like, why didn't they find his body? I said, because there's no body. No. Like yeah. Jimmy Conway said, we gotta get it out of there. You yep. think this guy's in a giant stadium? Exactly. Come on. You think they put him in the metal ends? No way. No. It's impossible. Got to get it out of there. Get it out of there. They put condominiums up. There's so many bodies that people don't realize. This is like, I'm conspiracy theorizing. My conspiracy. Theorizing, yeah. But people don't realize, like, there was a lot of people missing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're never going to find them. In the desert, right? Find a couple guys in the desert. People don't get it. What? Yo, if you listen to these guys that DJ Vlad interviews, there's a couple other guys out there. People think he's a fed. They just talk. I don't get and how Nothing he... happens anymore. That's that's how you know that there is no more of that. The mob? Yeah. No, it's gone. It's gone. I mean, you can't do guys, it. But you can't do it. You didn't they really... If you sneeze... The wrong you didn't way. really watch The Sopranos, right? Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in that movie, in the movie, in the show, they tried racketeering and it didn't work. Yeah. Because <laughs> what are you gonna, how are you going to do it? Yes. Who are you going to racket? Forget it. So they went in and said, listen, you need some protection. The guy said, listen, uh, um, corporate owns this place. Yeah. I don't even know. I don't, I don't exactly. even know. Exactly. And that's the difference. You, yeah. it, those days are gone. Like, even things like the Teamsters, they like, it, you, who are you protecting now? It's overboard. Yeah. It's, 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 it's it, gone. The government runs everything and that's it. A part of me, yeah. Like, everything is, is so centralized as far as like, who owns buildings and corporations that, like, I'll give you an example. If you drive two blocks from here, on Midland Ave, there's a, 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 like a condo type of building for sale. And on this building, and no one's bought it in like three years, it says, you know how the realtor is always on the building, like it's Remax or whatever? It says Berkshire Hathaway. You know what Berkshire Hathaway is? Yes. Who owns it? Like, do you think Warren Buffett's ever seen that building? No. That's my point. Like, like, 
it's owned by people that are never gonna see this shit. Yeah. You know, like you go to eat at McDonald's, like, or a Burger King, or like, no, the, the guys who own that building are nowhere near here. It's so micro now. So if you're trying to deal with something on like such a small level, it's impossible because the people who actually own this shit are nowhere near the, like us. Like that building is 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 literally from here. Like, what would the mafia run now? Everything they can't. is so. They can't. Who? It's not even worth it anymore. People don't understand what racketeering is, how it existed. It was literally, it was easier to do with like the small mom and pop businesses. You know, like there was like a, a, a wrench shop yeah. <laughs> in 1940. And a mean, guy would, how many tool shops you got? There? Yeah, like a guy from the tool shop, you know, like a mob guy would come in there and say, hey. We're going to protect you. Yeah. yeah. I got cameras outside, pal. I don't need you anymore. Not even just that. Like, what tool shop are you going to? Because it's Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna tell Walmart you need to protect. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's what I said. Walmart will make a phone call so fast. That's what it's, it's it's such a difference now, so it doesn't matter. There are the, the problem with this era is that the small business doesn't exist anymore. It's gone. Even the medium sized businesses don't exist anymore. I think it's gonna come back though. I hope so. I hate that's one of the big like I don't think capitalism is bad but like you said there's an extreme level of capitalism where it comes to monopolies that it's impossible to compete with Amazon just like 20 years ago it was impossible to compete with Walmart you can't compete with Walmart back then and Walmart spent years driving all of these small businesses out and then eventually they started getting pissed off because Amazon came in mm -hmm. you know even think about like the town we've grown up in our whole life. Like how many places are left? Like the Meltzers and, and these little, you know, like places that sold, you know, sporting goods or, or refrigerators or, or television. They're gone because Walmart could get it to you for cheaper in one place. And then you, if you wanted to, you could go buy an entertainment center, a vacuum cleaner and spend less money than it would have cost just for the TV. And it cleaned it up. So what happened eventually after Walmart did that was... Amazon said, okay, well, they do that? Okay, bet. Like, you want to buy this TV and all this other shit? We'll sell you the same thing. It's going to cost three quarters of the price. And not only that, we'll get it to you in two days and we'll send it to your house for cheaper. So now Walmart's like, what the fuck do we do? And it's just, I don't know what the next thing is going to be after Amazon. And that scares me. And that's what I'm talking about. What's the next thing? What more can you do to, I'll give, like, I remember, and this is like, I think it was maybe a week ago that I had a, uh, a coffee maker, right? And my coffee maker broke and I wanted to order another one. And it was like two o'clock in the morning and it broke. I'm like, fuck, I can't get coffee in the morning. I went on Amazon. I put a thing in for a coffee maker and it was here in four hours. Brand new. <laughs> How can you compete with that? You know, that's scary. That is, that's what Amazon does. And that's because there's a warehouse that's two miles away from here. And there are thousands upon thousands of the same warehouse. So what's the next thing? How do you come, how do you make it better than that? Seriously, what can you do more than what Amazon has done? Because in the 2000s, I remember being old enough to be like, what can Amazon, what can Walmart do more than what they're doing? Because Walmart's business model was if you wanted to sell... I don't know, fucking television, you know, back then you could go to this store or you could go to Walmart and Walmart would buy 500 of these televisions at cost so that they could sell it to you for cheaper. So you couldn't compete with that. So how do you compete with Amazon having it in a warehouse worth less than what you bought it for and then get it to you in four hours? How do you compete with that? That is capitalism. That's... The epitome of capitalism. You know Jeff Bezos went to, you know how he went to space in his giant dick, right? It was a big, smooth, white shaft. You saw it? You saw the ship? Jeff Bezos went to space and, and it, the rocket looked like a dick. Like, it, it was a long shaft with two balls. I'm not kidding. Like, look this shit up. Anybody watching this, look this shit up. Jeff Bezos went to space in a giant dick when he came back from space in his fucking cowboy hat with his brother and, like, three astronauts. And, and he invited Kevin Hart. <laughs> Kevin Hart didn't want to go. Look this shit up. I'm not making this up. The first thing he did when he made a speech was tell people, thank you for buying shit on Amazon because you sent me to space. Think about that shit out loud. It's scary, man.
people don't get it. This guy's literally leaving Earth on you. <laughs> it's a different animal. People think like like you said it before, but Bezos is like <laughs> he makes Bill Gates look like a puppet. Like it's scary. He like people were scared of Bill Gates in the nineties. You remember that, the antitrust shit? Bezos makes Bill Gates look like Kermit the Frog, bro. <laughs> people do not understand. Yeah, but see, I think the difference between Bezos and Bill Gates is Bill Gates doesn't even need money anymore. You think Bezos needs money? Yeah. Why? Because he's not in with them. <laughs> you laugh. You know what I mean. He it's not about money anymore. Everything. That level. No, he doesn't, though. You ever look at the shit that he owns? I know. I think they let him. Like, when you're in with them, you don't need ca You don't need currency. I don't, don't say those names on here. No, I, know, I said like them. You, no, no, forget about it. I already, yeah, I already come, misspoke they'll come, twice. They'll, they'll come after us. I know. Yeah. No, don't worry about that. But uh, that's the difference. Like, Gates said, okay, Jeff. Kevin Gates? No. <laughs> yeah, he's got more than... He like, hey. Bill Gates went, okay, Jeff, you can have the money. I'm going with Fauci. You can say Fauci. Yeah, Fauci's fine. Fauci's fine. When you're in cahoots with him, you don't need money. You, so you think Fauci... 100 percent There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Because <laughs> there's no way you think Fauci owns the world. No, he doesn't own it, but he's in. <laughs> Fauci still takes orders, but he's... Stop. If you're going to pick somebody, who no, you take Bezos or Fauci? Maybe. On your side. You can keep Bezos. I'm taking that little green one, like, for... It is. He says what? The guy sits on... He's the sexiest man alive. They voted him. Fauci. Fauci! For what? For saying wear the mask? How do you do? That's impressive. Stop. All right. No, I'm actually like. I'm just. You know what I do? I'm just. They're gonna be like, listen, him. you couldn't administer CPR. What happened to this guy? <laughs> Choked that. What happened? He said Fauci. Fauci. I, it, was, and it was history. Because he said keep the mask on. How do you say keep the mask on but take the mask off but keep the mask on and get sexiest Did man alive? Did he really get voted sexiest man alive? Yeah, one of these <laughs> magazines. He's the sexiest man alive. Like, like was it Legitimately. GQ? Like GQ in it? I don't know if it was GQ. It was one of them. Don't make me... If I had... If I, my phone worked, I would I don't even know where my phone is. Good. Like, my phone is very easily being candid. Right I don't know. <laughs> Your phone is still yeah, at... Uh, it's, it's gone. So nothing, there was nothing I could do. And let me tell you something. I, my phone doesn't work. He said... Listen. Yeah. <laughs> Take him off the map. That's why, like, they make Bezos look the way he is. I actually feel sorry for him because he's really nothing compared to these people. Do you know that Jeff Bezos had, like, his new wife or whatever? And Even she left him. No, his old wife did. Oh. His new wife was at, like, a like a dinner. A dinner? But... That's an She went to a dinner and she met, like, Leonardo DiCaprio and, like, left Bezos for him. There you go. There you go. I rest my case. That's true. I believe it. Bro, there's a new crew in town, bro, and Bezos ain't in it, man. Hell yeah. Stop. Stop. All right. Like, he's around them, but they, he, he's like the kid that they don't let him, that they, they don't pick. So he's mad. He's mad. That's why he went to space. There's a video of Bezos in the 90s. I hate that you don't believe me. No, I don't. I know you don't. No, Just I, believe me. Possible to You'll see in six months, you're going to send me a thing, and you're like, how come? Listen. Listen. Right. Don't worry the about mask that. mask you're wearing. Well, the CDC. Right. There's a video, there's, I watched this the other day, it's a Bezos and he's in the 90s. He saved his first dollar, like, you know, like, you know people do that? Yeah. <laughs> and then he, he had like this, like the original sign he had of Amazon, which was like in spray paint. This guy scares me. You, like, you're like, you believe it, but you just think it's a different person. Yeah. I think it's Bezos and you think it's like Fauci. <laughs> Absolutely. It's two different, it's like two different teams, you know? No, I don't know. Yeah, you know. No, what do you think about me coming out? I don't know. It's impossible. It's not. This guy is like, because this guy actually built something. He's taking his Amazon thing and running with it. God bless him. What does that mean? He, but like, he's like he's not with them. I just don't know. What Who's them? I can't say it. Basically, he's with take off. The... He's not with him. So he Gates is. Kevin Gates. When did Gates start vaccinating people? He's not even the fourth richest person in Bill Gates. Is that because he doesn't need money anymore? Okay, so let me ask you this. Get that. Let me ask you this. I got one name for you then. Get okay. Elon Musk. What about him? Then he's, he's like a Bezos. He, he's busy running around with cars and technology, and that's fine. But when it comes to, you know what? I feel like squash him. He's so crooked, to Elon Musk. Put it this way. If these people were really... Travis Scott was injecting people. Hey, this guy, literally. 
I don't even want to know about This guy had the gates of hell at the concert. <laughs> <laughs> I know you saw that. I did. I know. I saw the conspiracy. It, look, it's all there. It's all there. So you really think Just that, look at it. So you think that that was what it was? That would forget it. Okay. Let's just play Devil's Advocate. What was it? Disgusting. Mm hmm? But why? What do you mean? What part? All the insinuations. Coincidence? I don't think he insinuated anything. I think that they were just extremely negligent. The whole people. thing was a devil show. Uh, show. Oh, no. It's all there. No, it's not. Yes, it is. What? Because there's like a there's a hole like the the, the open, thing is an upside case. down cross. Yeah, people are getting stage. injected. Spirals. Uh, I don't see any spirals. There were spirals. Oh, okay, there you go. I didn't see that. No, there were spirals. There you go. I rest my case. Did you ever right. watch the movie Spiral? Yes. Did you like it? Terrible. I liked it. I know you didn't like it the first time though. No. It's too predictable. And, I mean, talked about this. But I don't think it's a bad movie. I don't know. It was, ugh. You don't like any movies now. Though. I do. No, the movies now do stink. Yeah, now. Brutal. Remember any movies come out like the last five years and you like? Because you. Last five years? Ugh. You know. know. Last five years. I don't think so. Give me one. I'll, I'll, I'll listen. And I'll be honest. Spiral. You didn't like it. I did. I thought it was good. What about the purge? Nah, I knew it was good. Terrible, because it's all like, it's like they try to get with the time. It tries too hard. Yeah. Yeah, the purge tried too hard. I, I like, I like, no, not the purge. No. That was a big disappointment. You ever watched the movie, what was it called, The Hunt? That was decent. Yeah, I like I liked The Hunt. Right? We need more of that. Hillary Swank. Oh, it was Hillary Clinton. Did you see the parallel there? I know. It's phenomenal. I know you're going to do phenomenal. that. Phenomenal. I knew you were going to do that. I love it. The Life hunt talks was, to you, but man. the hunt was good. The hunt about, was good. How about how about don't was it called don't don't do something don't breathe yeah, don't, don't breathe the second one is that the one with the blind guy yeah I didn't see the second one it's good it's good yeah it's good I like that that's what I'm saying like there's some good shit out there you know like I like Spiral I don't know how you didn't like it nah I didn't like it. I knew it was that guy from the beginning like not about I knowing that. though I, but that destroys me for the rest of the movie. I don't like the voice. I don't know. I didn't like Samuel L. Jack. Yeah, the voice was weird. Oh, he's it was like, hello, doctor. Go on to yeah, the... It was weird. Yeah. It was like a kid on who didn't read Chris Roddy. Yeah. Right. He was like, hello, Dr. Gordon. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty good, but it's... it's like, hard to go like... Because like Jigsaw... I actually was... liked it. You were just reaching. You wanted a lot. No, nah, it was interesting. I did like it. I like the new James Bond, too. You don't like James Bond. I can't do James Bond. What's the problem? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. I still don't believe you don't like any James Bond movie. No, I don't like James Bond. It's not there are like that. thirty James Bond movies. Not my thing. That's that's one reason why. How can you make thirty of the same thing? It's not the same thing. It is. I was watching this. <laughs> that's all. Everything. Ding 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 ding. ding. Yeah, Come on. exactly. But you like Pierce Brosnan? I do like Pierce Brosnan. Did you ever see the Thomas Crown Affair? <laughs> that's that's awesome movie. That's James Bond. He's not James yes, Bond. No, he's Thomas not. Thomas Crown Affair is literally James Bond. No, it's not. They just can't call him James Bond. Is Rene Russo in there? No way, bro. I love Rene Russo. No, but Holly Berry's in James Bond. She is in one of them, right? Yeah, she's in um Die Another Day, yeah. which is phenomenal. Can't do it. Die Another Day is the best one up. No, best James Bond we ever. Goldeneye. Goldeneye is phenomenal. Nah, I can't do it. How do you not like James Bond? Thomas Crown Affair is awesome. It's literally James no, Bond. No, it's not. No, like James Bond isn't a thief. No, he's but the spy. Yeah, that's for where? Over there, no good. What England? Yeah. Nah, yo, you gotta watch. You have to watch either. And I like Sean Connery, but he's like, <sighs> you. There's no way you watched. What is it? Pussy feather. What is the other one? P Octopus. Octopussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get out of here with that. I like Austin Powers better. The Moonraker. No. Um. No. The Living Daylights was good. Nope. Goldeneye? No. Yeah, how do you like, not like Goldeneye? No. Die Another Day? No. Do you even know the plots of these movies? No way. Bro. I'm not doing it. Die Another Day is about North Korea. And it came out in... in See, you like that stuff. It I came out in... You're about North Korea! But it came out in 2002, and I'm it can not, happen now. I'd rather watch Rocket Man. The Elton John movie or the song? No. This. Rocket Man. <laughs> Nuclear Warheads. Not doing it. That's the only thing he's ever done that's been entertaining. Rocket. And then that guy gets out of the water and it's slow and it. I can't. No one's getting out of the water. That so guy with the small shorts. I can't. Daniel Craig. Oh, I can't stand that. Oh, Casino that. Royale. I, I watched that yesterday. Stand that guy. That was a, Daniel Craig. Oh. Sure we did. But it's a great. Exactly. 
Okay? I, there you go. So you get it. No, Casino Royale is good. No. What do you mean? Nope. Casino Royale is good. Not doing it. Uh, uh, uh. That guy to me is. I'll give you another one. That guy to me is like Hugh Jackman. Because I know. I'm going to give you another actor you can't stand. You can't. And he's in, uh, the most popular Daniel Craig one. What is it? What's the name of the shit? Um, 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 um. Skyfall. Who is this? Half a year bar them. No. <laughs> Great actor. There's no movies anymore. There's no actors anymore. There's no actors. Did you like the movie 300? Didn't see it. Really? Nope. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah. Rocky. All of them. Love Rocky. Okay. At least I gave you that much. What did you say? I don't fucking say. But you didn't like... Okay, what other franchises are there? Saw? Love Saw. All of them? No. You don't like Spiral? So it's impossible. Spiral was a five out of a ten. Okay, opinion. so the first saw is what? Oh, nine out of ten. What was the second one? I don't really remember, but I remember I liked it. So I'm gonna say seven. I'm gonna say the next four were four were seven out of ten. All of them? Yeah. All right. The one where it got weird for me was when they did that, the game in this in the clear window. Remember that? The final chapter. Watch. Final chapter. It started to get weird. It was with the girl. And uh, like the guy, they were yeah. she, she was cheating with both of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of threw me a little bit. It's okay. Still good, but not. Let me give you this one. This is good. I just watched a remake of I Know What You Did Last Summer. I saw that on the Fire Stick, but I couldn't click it. Good. It's pretty good. Really? Yes. No. Overall, the premise is good. Come on, Brandy was even in the second one. It's a terrible one in the second good. one. No, it's not. Come on. Go give me a high five room, Brandy. Yeah. That was good. That's what I do. Da, 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 da. No, yeah. No. Nope. It goes rapidly. Who is it? Doug who? There's no more high five. Is it Doug who? <sighs> Doug. Can't say it. They, no. Yeah, what? Can't say it. Whoops, there's no. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I know what you last summer. They have a new craft, too. Remember the craft? Yeah, they made another one. I won't yeah, watch it, I though. I can't watch it, though. That's like like certain movies. I know you don't like Anchorman, but I won't watch the second one. I don't, you know, I don't, like, I don't like Anchorman. There's no way you... You don't like anything Will Ferrell was ever in. No, I love Will Ferrell, but I feel like he doesn't do the right movies. <laughs> I should be like his agent. So what Will Ferrell movie... He always has an afro and a beard in every movie. <laughs> right? Why? <laughs> it's not funny. Just be you. What was the basketball player movie he was in? Afro and a beard. <laughs> What's it called? I, He's like the tropics. Paradise something. something. Was it called Jackie Moon? Oh, Tropic, yeah, Jackie Moon. I forgot the name of the movie, was but you're right though. Chan was, it? yeah. Anchorman. Yeah, why? He's funny regular. Don't do all that. He's not funny though. He's not. No, I love Will Ferrell, but he actually sucks. I know. No, he's actually. He never, could be so good. He's never been in anything good. Exactly. What about Tropic Thunder? Never saw it. Did you watch Tom Cruise? No. In that movie? <laughs> you don't like Tom Cruise. In that movie, he's phenomenal. I do like Tom Cruise. I just don't like him. What? He's in great movies, but he's not good. No, Tom Cruise sucks. It's impossible. Tom Cruise is a phenomenal actor. Jerry Maguire. Je Come on, Jerry Maguire. Great movie. If you take him out of it, better. No. Yes, it is. Come on, did you ever see Jack Reacher? I love Jack Reacher. Awesome. <laughs> Yo, Jack Reacher is awesome. Take him out of it. Who's going to play Jack Reacher? Anybody. Who? Anybody. Give me somebody. Nicholas Cage. Clooney? Cage cannot play Jack Reacher. 100. He's too goofy. He's like, oh, I yeah, no, it wouldn't work. He'd like drop the knife or whatever. No, any any actor, The Rock, probably could play. No, stop it. The Rock, Ben The Rock. You watch Red Notice? Who? Red Notice. Red Notice? What did you say? Red Notice. No, I didn't see that. The Rock, I movie. can't watch that. You're not watching any. Two guys and a girl can't do it, especially him. Not Gal Gadot, him. phenomenal. I love Gal Gadot. Yeah. I actually watched Wonder Woman, phenomenal movie, but I can't. Not do the it. second one. First one. First one was good. Yeah, no, no, I didn't even one. see the second one. Hmm. I can't do The Rock. The Rock was in one good movie. I That's like that. another franchise. Oh, I got a topic. I was actually thinking about this the other day, and I said this on camera. Is there, in our lifetime, a more culturally significant movie than Fast and the Furious, the first one? Think about this. Culturally significant. Forget how good it is or how bad it is, but a movie that literally defined, started, cultivated an entire culture than the Fast and the Furious in our lifetime. I'll give you a second. Think about that. 
blew my mind. I thought about this myself, but I, I can't think of one. More than that movie. <laughs> Tell me, man. Crazy. And I thought about it, and I said, The Fast and the Furious is one of the most culturally significant movies in our lifetime. How? Name another movie that we came out in our lifetime yeah. that impacted a culture, changed the way people thought about things, and brought to light a genre of shit that nobody thought about more than The Fast and the Furious. Like, game-changing type of fucking movie that came out more than The Fast and Furious. I'll wait. Culturally significant. I know you thought of another one. What did you look at? No! I could not think of another movie that impacted our life, our genre, millennials, more than The Fast and the Furious. I couldn't do it. I couldn't. I thought of another movie that was like popping more than any other movie, which is Titanic, but like actually created a fucking culture? No. Seriously. There's other ones that did on a micro level. Saw created that whole torture porn thing where like it created a whole different little level. Um, Titanic was, I don't think there's ever been a movie in our lifetime that like people, it impacted like how we watch movies because you know as well as I do, we were really young, but everybody we knew watched Titanic like seven times, eight times, nine times. Like you weren't even cool unless you went to see Titanic multiple times. So in that sense, box office wise, like people talk about Avengers and all this other stuff, how it was like, oh, most highest selling movie ever. People didn't go watch Avengers seven times. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. No, but changing a culture, bringing to light, like making it mainstream, Fast and Furious, no way. I mean, they're still making Fast and Furious until this day. Oh. That's impossible. It's crazy to think about, but like, like it literally created a culture, it defined the culture. It's like, I, I, I was like, oh, I, I actually thought about it. Cause like somebody said like, like defining type of movies and I went, I can't think of another one besides Fast and the Furious. And I've been asking people, and they can't think of another one besides... I can give you a, a TV series. Sopranos, definitely. Okay, well, Jersey Shore in that case, then, too. Yeah. Yes. Sopranos I, I, was before Jersey Shore, though, yeah? Yes, way before. Yeah. But I can, I'll can. i give you that, definitely, because... Right? Like, like it put Jersey Mafia thing... On, on the map, map. yes. Yeah. It created, like... People, no one thought about Jersey until like in that light, especially. Period. Yeah. Like no one on on the grand scale. I think Jersey Shore might be even more culturally significant than The Sopranos if you are saying that. I think it targeted a different age group. Yes, Sopranos was huge, but Jersey Shore was beyond huge when it came to that. They're still filming Jersey Shore episodes now. Like those. They're six, still making movies for The Sopranos now. One. Yes. They're supposed to be another one. But what do you think as far as household shit is more popular, Jersey Shore or The Sopranos? That's a, that's a debate. Well, I don't know. That's that's close. It's a debate. It's a tough one. I, I would probably say Jersey Shore. I wouldn't because like more people would know who Paul E.D. or Snooki or. There also is. might be more seasons, right? Sopranos have what eight seasons? Seven. Then Jersey Shore. I mean, they're still filming till this day, so it means possible, but. Jersey Shore, definitely. Sopranos, I would say yeah, too. I would. I would. <laughs> See? Pellegrino. Oh, Jojo Pellegrino. Yeah. But I can't think of any, like, movies. Like, The Fast and the Furious. Like, street racing was always a thing, but you remember how that shit was. We weren't old enough to drive or anything like that yet, but... Every person that could drive, the street glow under the car, the decals on the shit, like the Nissans, and everybody wanted to mod their car. And the craziest one is NOS. You go into any convenience store now, and you can buy a bottle or a can of NOS as, an, as a drink. That's from Fast and the Furious. Is it? Yeah. Fast and that, that, the, even the way the bottle is designed is from Fast and the Furious. Really? Like, I, I, yes, there's a point, I can even tell you the point in the movie, that the car catches on fire and Vin Diesel and Paul Walker both, like, Vin Diesel screams out, NOS, because that's the nitrous oxide. Yeah, no, that I get, but I didn't know the drink was that. That came, the, the, the canister is the exact replica if you watch the first Fast and Furious, yes, yes. Hmm. 
Even like, they even had the hottest rapper, which nobody gives credit for back then, which was Ja Rule. Nobody gives Ja Rule credit, bro. But Ja Rule was literally. N Who had a run like Ja Rule? <laughs> people, people get mad about Ja Rule because 50 Cent made not liking Ja Rule like cool, but. Who had a run like Ja did? I like ja Rule. But who had a run like Ja did in the late 90s, early 2000s? For real. Who, like, nobody had a run like that. You weren't, nobody was fucking with Ja Rule. Like, 50 made it cool to be like Ja Rule is not cool, but. In, again, in my lifetime, there's not too many rappers that had a run like Prime Ja. Hit after hit after hit after hit. You have to actually think about it. No, I can give you three right now, but you're talking at that time. Who had a better room? I can give you a few. Yeah. Of course you can. Who? T Paint. That was one of mine. Of course. You know who mine is? That's probably number one. Two for me. For me, two. You know what number one is? You can guess? You can guess. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna guess what I'm thinking. My number one. No one in my life has had a run like this ever. No one. I don't know who your number one is. I mean, you're in the right era. Same era. You're in the right era. Nobody had a rolling. I'm not gonna guess it right though. Who is it? Lil Wayne. I was gonna say Lil Wayne. I was gonna say Drake. Drake too. When it's all said and done, Drake will be. Drake enough. actually has eras. Too, like he'll, he's good and then he stinks and he's good. Right? I don't think any rappers had a run like Drake where they've been at or near the top of a genre since like 2010. For real. People don't like Drake, I get it. People say they don't like new Drake, I get it. But when you look back and it's all said and done, like, Drake's been relevant since like 2009. It's 2021, probably 2022. And he's still, when he drops an album, is one of the most talked about artists. But Wayne, in Little Wayne's prime, nobody did what he did. There was like a run in like five years where Lil Wayne was like, you couldn't even make a song without Wayne being on. From like 2005 to like 2012. Nobody had a run like that. Where everything this man put on, the only other person I can think of that came close to that is T-Pain. Where they were on every song. You couldn't make a song without those two in that era. You could not. It wouldn't pop. The only difference between T-Pain and Lil Wayne is T-Pain didn't make a bad song. I don't think it's possible for him. And Lil Wayne did? Yeah, he would have stupid stuff here and there. No? I mean, you didn't listen. If you, T-Pain made some stupid shit, too. Yeah, like what? Even his stupid stuff sounded good. Let's be, let's be honest. Chopped and Screwed is not a good song. I love that song. Exactly. No, that's a good song, no! Come on. What are you... Now you've officially been Listen, chopped you're not going to get an argument here. I'm just telling you. Come on. Chopped and screwed. I love that song. You, you just screwed. Come on. I'm with you. Come on. But, but in reality, it's stupid. No, it's not. Okay, maybe it's Do you big. understand the, the premise behind Chopped and Screwed? Yeah, he tried to like hit on a girl and like she played him or something. Right? The bar. Behind the term Chopped and Screwed. What That's the it? problem. What is it? I mean, I haven't heard the song probably since it came out, but... No, but like what chopped and screwed is, and he even chopped and screwed. The song, the song. is chopped and screwed. Do you understand where that whole like shit comes? From? Yes, but you understand where the term, the the type of music chopped and screwed. See, you're talking to the wrong person because like my roommate was from Houston in college, so like the whole chopped and screwed thing was an element un, un, in and unto itself. That whole like you know the part where he's like screw screw chop chop. That's that's chopping a song. That's what it was. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like but that was a whole genre of music back then. I know, but to the layman, they're not going to know that, so it doesn't matter. But that was the genius behind it, because he, see, people who don't remember, in this run in 2000, like mid-2000s to like probably like 2012, every album that ever came out back then, they had a chopped and screwed version. Listen to any Lil Wayne album, and you could go to the record store, which isn't even a thing anymore, and you could find a chopped and screwed version of that song. And... T Pink didn't invent that. It was like the Houston sound. DJ Screw was an actual person. Like, and back then they chopped and screwed everything. My roommate was from Houston, and I'm not joking, it didn't matter what song you played, he would come in <laughs> with a blunt in his mouth. This is real talk. He would come with a blunt in his mouth, like, man, slow that shit down. And he would find a chopped and screwed version of any song, Jay Z, you name it. 
and he was literally like they would rap like rrr, 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 and he would like be chopped and screwed so t-pain put that in a song and the whole chorus was chopped and screwed so it was genius people just it went over people's heads and if you listen to the song he was just in like talking about messed up situations and that's what he was saying so not necessarily in like i was in the midwest at this point so like heavily influenced by the south that whole chopped and screwed thing we used to use that term for a fucked up situation. Like, you've been chopped and screwed. And you listen to the song, he says, you've officially been chopped and screwed. I feel like it went over people's heads. Because you had to be a part of that to get it. I personally like the song. I'm just saying but, when you look at it. But I love that song. Because <laughs> we used to use it. Like, there was a point where he's, he's talking to me. He's at a club. And he met a girl. She looked good. And then she was like, you know, she said something. He was like, damn. Yeah. You've officially been yeah, chopped. Yeah, it's like all fails in the song. You it's a and... fucked up situation. Yeah. You've officially been chopped and screwed. Screwed, screwed, chopped. Uh, so I'll start singing it. T at the end of the day, it sounds good. Nobody has. That's it. my point. I'll agree with you. You know, T Pain can make anything that. He can't make anything sound bad. That's my point. I'll agree with you. That's all I'm saying. Lil but Wayne, like, gets carried away sometimes. Lil Wayne had a run where he was on every song you could think of. Yeah. Like,. Even T-Pain couldn't do that, and T-Pain was on every song you could think of. I agree with you. Like, prime T-Pain might be one of the greatest musicians of our lifetime. Not even a joke. People will, T-Pain, I don't give a fuck, nobody says. Like, all these artists now, everybody uses auto-tune. T-Pain brought that shit to the forefront. Whatever. Did he not? Every person from T-Pain on has an auto-tune song. Like, people can say what they want to. All that, like, Lil Uzi verse, and even though he doesn't sound like T-Pain, that auto-tune shit. Another stupid song, but incredible song. Who? Silver and Gold. Oh, Yo, that is probably... Come on! No, I know. I agree with you. I'm just... Silver and Gold, it sounds like a Christmas song. But, but a, he made it good. But there's a point to it. Of course there is. What's the point? Mixing the drinks. What drinks? Whiskey and what? Patron Silver and Patron Gold. Oh, is silver that what it is? and Gold. I thought it was a brown liquor. Nope. And a... Tut tut it was basically him saying, see, there's a, and you're right about this. T-Pain can make a song about you playing hopscotch. Yeah, and it's going to be it's good. That's problem, just yes. what I'm trying to say. I always forget, there's a one song I remember, and it's not a popular song, but it's a song with the dude from the Gym Class Heroes. Remember Gym Class Heroes? Like, yeah, no Travis Scott. McCoy. McCoy. Yeah. And there was a song where T-Pain doesn't say anything, he just counts. He's like, one, two, three, four, and it sounds amazing. It's incredible. Wait, that, you're right about That's that. That's all I'm saying. Nothing T-Pain, okay, what you're saying is there was nothing that he could he say. He can't that. sound bad. No. You're, How do you beat that? I agree with That's that. That's incredible to no. me. He, one, two, it three, was four. Yes. Yeah. But like, he had, like, I'm in love with a stripper, uh, like bartender. Like, so those are like, good, good. I'm sprung. Yeah. The, the, every yeah. I'm in love with a stripper remix. Shorty. Ah, uh, but the, see, that's two different T Pain's. T Pain on the hook was next level. Yeah. People forget about like, like, uh, oh, remember, there were two pistols. She got oh, it. Forget. <laughs> There's so many of those. Uh, you know what song he was on too? To my hood. She move her body like a cyclone. Like, yeah. there's a million of that. Low. Remember, Shady had the map oh, yeah. bottom. Like, T Pain had a point where you couldn't make a song without him being on the track, and it just made it pop. That's why for me, he's number one. Wayne was that too, though. I like, know. Wayne was that too. And Wayne, see, and there's a, here's why I can't put Wayne above everybody. People forget that, like, before Lil Wayne, his influence in music, the skater fashion, the piercings, the face tattoos, the covered in tattoos, no one was doing that. All these young thugs, little Uzi verts, and I'm not saying they copied him. I'm just saying oh, no, he's. They, they did. They did. Of course they did. Like, he started he that. that skater. No rapper was tatted before Lil Wayne. No one. Nobody was walking around with face tats. All right. And How many rappers were wearing pink after Cam did it? And, and Cam is up there. Yeah. Ain't no doubt about that. Back when they thought pink polos would hurt the rock before Cam got that shit to pop. <laughs> The doors was closed. I felt like Bad Boy Street Team. I couldn't work the locks. Prime Ye was up there too. That's that's the Kanye was. But yeah, yeah, Cameron, same thing. Cameron's like, there's a class of their own. Those and groups. I would give a genre of stuff mid two thousands. Nobody was fucking with Atlanta no. in the mid two thousands. No, no one. They were built different. 
When you think about Atlanta in like 2006, Young Jeezy and your boy Kells, um, Young Jeezy, Young Jock, Young Dro, T.I., Ludacris, like you can just go on and on, like no one was, like DJ Unk, D4L, like oh, yeah. the, every song came from Atlanta back then. Like you can kind of count Soldier Boy because I don't really know where Soldier Boy. Where's Rich Homie Quan from? Georgia, right? Somewhere down there. Yes, yeah. that was that was Young Thug's boy. Yeah. Like, they, like, well, Rich Homie Quan was a little later, yeah. but like, people forget Ludacris, Young Jeezy, Ti, like, Young Dro, T, like, uh, 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 what was I just said again? What was the other Young? Uh, young Jock. Young Jock. Like, the AT, they had rap in a, in a show. D4L, like, like DJ Unk walking out two step, like, little scrappy. Lojan, Trillville, you can go on and on. Nobody was messing with ATL in 2000s. I mean, nobody. Rick Ross? Was it Rick Ross? Miami. Oh, yeah, that's right. Like, but Rick Ross was, no, Rick Ross was running time too. He was in there, though, with all them, right? Yeah, because, like, you, when we were younger, like, when you're talking like we were kids, there was New York and, and LA, and that's it. That was it. That was it. And then all of a sudden, you know who kicked that door in for me? You're going to laugh about this. Master P. Oh, Master P. Awesome. And Master P and Cash Money. Cash Money taking over for the 99 and the 2000s. It's like, I know you have a, you know, you're basically juvenile, but, you know, it's your bro jeans. That's different, but. It's you and them, Big Money Jesus. But, like, Master P, bro, mystical. Yeah, it's like yeah, silk, the, silk the Shocker. Yeah. You forget people. Silk. People forget about Silk the Shocker, bro. I, I still, to this day, like, he couldn't rap. But no, he had, like, three songs. But they were all, come on, remember something you did with Maya? Yeah, that's all, that's <laughs> like, all come on, man. Wasn't the video black and white, too? They were in the high school. Yeah. Remember, like, the basketball game? Yeah. Bro, remember Maya? Forget just it. forget about Maya. Just remember Maya. How about her now? She did actually, she she's hit, actually like, younger now. She hit 23, and she just. She started to go back backwards. I think she's, she's like, like 10 Benjamin Button. Right? Yeah, good. Yeah. Maya was up there. I, you know that Maya was, like, one of my first, like, artist oh. crush? You know what my first artist crush was? <laughs> I, oh man, my first music crush, early '90s. Like, I think who was there? Tony I was Braxton. No, nah, it was the same. Because I think she was mine. I was a boy. Like, you know, I was like, like fucking four. <laughs> like, like, we were young for Tony Braxton too. Maybe not four, but you know Janet first, Jackson. Nah, you know who my first crush was Left Eye. Oh, Left Eye. She, I used to think she yeah. was like the finest of the finest. You know, who my first actress crush was. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. I had two. So I had two, but I had two crushes. Who? Oh. <laughs> ha! First one was Holly Berry. Yeah, I'm talking Holly Berry. Same movie, actually. Hmm. No, it's actually two different movies. Remember Strictly Business? Yeah. <laughs> Holly Berry is Strictly Business. That movie doesn't even like go on no. TV anymore. Oh, uh, so why would Tom, remember Tommy Davidson? Awesome movie. Where did he go? Hysterical. Oh, uh, he was just Tommy Davidson. Remember the movie with Booty Call? Yeah. I my, still do stand up actually. My number two crush. How about this one? Stacy Dash. Mm. Oh, yeah, coolest. Nah. Well, what? Mo Money. Ah. Remember Mo Money? Damon Wayne's? Yes. Mo Money. But Clue is obviously. Wow, yes. I, I, thought of, I just thought of like 15 different in my head right now, and I, I can't even remember. Yeah, because low down, dirty, even, like his brother Keenan. Yo, I used to love Vivica A. Fox, bro. Uh, how do you not still? She looks good now too. She was she got heavy and then she lost weight again. What was the movie? She Bo was with the, all right, Booty Call. Booty Call, yes. Booty or call. Jamie Fox. Yeah. Booty Bro. Call. Booty Call. Tommy Davidson. Jamie Even Fox. The other one I liked. I never knew. The Saran name Rap. Though. Remember Saran? Yeah, Saran Rap. That's it. You know <laughs> who I like too? Elizabeth Shue. Well, Hollow Man? No, not that far. She was in Hollow Man. I'm talking Karate Kid. She was in Karate. She was, in karate. She was Daniel Larusso's girlfriend. Which one? The first one. Wow. Exactly. Hillary Swank. Oh yeah, she was the third, the fourth Karate Kid though. Right. You didn't know that that was his girlfriend? I never. Did you see that. Karate Kid? You like Karate Kid? Oh bro, she used to have the turtleneck. It was like up to here. This is all I remember Karate Kid. Well, forget it. That and and no, reality. but the fucking hey, the, 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 yes. the fucking thing with the balls on the it. Second one in Japan. Yes, Okinawa. Yes, Okinawa. Saito. Saito. Yes. Saito. Yes. Okinawa. Come on, you <laughs> remember Karate Kid? Yes, Karate Kid. Yeah, I still love those from there. I mean, you're talking about like Karate Kid was like in our lifetime again. I mean. I wasn't old enough for like the older ones. Like I was only one I really remember is actually the one with Hillary Swank. Like I watched the other ones, but I didn't, I wasn't alive when they. You know what I mean? Like I didn't watch them. 
I watched them later on like VHS. I think the first one came out in '85, so you weren't born yet. Fuck no. I like was, I was born then, so I was I was watching Karate. That was my favorite. My my actually, I like the third one. Oh, I love it. Nobody likes third Karate Kid. I like you like all those shit because you like like uh uh uh, uh, uh what the fuck Texas Chainsaw. Texas Chainsaw. I do like Texas Chainsaw. The, the one in the nineties was terrible. Oh, it's like, oh god, awful! You like a lot of bad movies. No, I like good movies. No, you like you. I appreciate the stuff nobody else likes. That's how you say it. No, you like a lot of bad movies. No, I don't. You do though. Give me one. You like bad movies. No. You like their only blood. Great movie. It's a miserable movie. No, you can't even say it with straight face. This is a good movie. Straight face. Yeah. Yes. Antonio. But Antonio. Yeah. <laughs> you like a lot of face. bad movies. You like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Phenomenal. The oh, first that's one a is. classic. You like No! No one likes the Dennis Hopper version. Oh, that's the best one. No, Speed, oh, good movie. Chainsaws, Speed, great movie. You like Die Hard. Of course. With a Vengeance. Good one, yeah. Good movie. I don't know why that was They're good. all good. No, there's some bad movies. Up to the body, pal. What do you like that's bad? I don't know what TV dinner feels like. I don't like any bad movies. No, you do. You like that one with, with, uh, with the... <laughs> that You like that. I, I know, no. Oh, I, how come I can't think of it? No country for old no men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going down the line. I'm going 90s though. All right, I'll go, go back. I'll go yeah. back. Um, yeah, go 90. Look, you know. What else is there? I like good movies. In the 90s though. Simple. Because like, honestly, there's not that many bad 90s movies. That's true. The Net. Incredible movie. Enemy of the State. Phenomenal. Oh, dude, come on. Speed. I mean, Enemy of the State is top 10 probably. It's a great movie. It's ahead of his time. Bro, are you kidding me? It's the man of his time. Is there a better duo than Gene Hackman and Will Smith? Dennis Hopper and Keanu Reeves. That is a good duo. Speed? Yeah. Come on, Speed yeah. was Speed was different. Speed and was built, throwing Sandra Bullock. I Speed mean, was on. the net Sandra Bullock again. Speed was built different. <laughs> you know what I watched the other day? Nineties movie, The Wishmaster. Wow. <laughs> I can't even remember that movie. You know how good that movie is? Oh my god! Like, there's not that many bad movies from that era. Like the. Back then, you had to like you had to come up with shit, so it was different. The only bad movie from that era that people do like is Virtuosity. I didn't like it. it was terrible. Nah, it's not really memorable. Decent movie. Ricochet. Good movie. <sighs> so it's like the nineties. I don't know. Again, we're talking about our childhood. Right, wanna laugh? There's a movie that my dad literally watches once a week. <laughs> you ready for this? <laughs> What's the one? I can never think of it. Denzel Washington. Um, Eva Mendez. And out, of time. out of time. <laughs> out of time. For, I can't give you every word of that movie. Good movie. Well, Denzel was. Come on. Man on Fire. Great movie. <sighs> Isn't that Dakota Fanning? Yes. Who's weird now? True story, by the way. Which I didn't. That's crazy to me. No, what's the movie where. Deja Vu. Oh, Deja Vu, good movie. <laughs> that's a good, good movie. movie, Deja Vu. Denzel was. I don't enough. get it, though. You tried to explain it to me, but I still don't get it. He gets in the hole. <laughs> yeah, but. What happens? What do you mean? Did, in the end, does he die? No. How does he? How does she remember him? The the current because it's deja vu. What? <laughs> exactly. It's deja vu. What do you mean? The current him. Here we go. Dies, but him and that current like the old timeline's still there because he went back in time. The one of him who went back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget it. Exactly. I'm done. I'm not even trying. Do you know this. I researched this? I, I can't get nothing. Okay. I don't get it. Say you traveled back in time to three weeks ago, right? Okay. Right now. You right now. Right. You right now would run into you from three weeks ago living that concurrent timeline. Well, how, does you, how, you, how am I losing you here? No, all right. I, I get that, but I wouldn't know it. He didn't know it. He but did. she did. Yes. How? That's the feeling of deja vu. For who? So who had deja vu? Him or her? Her. What? What is it? The predator. <laughs> Great movie too. I don't know. It's like I'm. I get, I like this stuff, but it, it doesn't register. For he me. went back in time, and her. But he also went back in time and changed stuff. So if what he. But that version of him shouldn't remember. But him that version of, of him died. Right. Yeah, so what's wrong? So how did he even come back if he died? He sent him that that person is from the future. That's that still died. him. Not not current him. That was new him. I don't get it. I, 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 I don't, don't get it. it. No, it's, it's I so don't know simple. how you do get it. 
Okay, it's like if if me and I you know that it's sci-fi. I get that, but it still doesn't make. I feel like they messed up the plot. If me and you were like sitting here right now, and then me from three months from now came in the door, and he died, I would still be here to be him later. What? <laughs> you not get it? No. Fine, but she still know. She still knows she him. She didn't know him. She just thought she felt like she did. No, she, he thought he did. That was deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> Above the rim. Awesome movie. Ah. Off me, off me. He got game. Oh, the best. <laughs> they're, were they're that is the second best basketball game uh, movie. movie. So yeah. what's the first? You know what the first is. Of course. You think Boochers is, is, yeah. is the best basketball Come on. <sighs> Come on. Ah, man, it's tough. That's, that's a good one. Neon? Penny. Come on, no, I know. I, exactly. Penny. I, I just feel like we have a recency bias. Because like... No, it's impossible. But we were both... What are you going to say, Hoosiers? No. No. Wait, we, we were both kids in the 90s. So like, we're going to have a special, like a thing because of we grew up like in the 90s. There's a sentimental thing. At that yeah. Like, right. What's better than Blue Chips? Or He Got Game? 90s basketball any movies? Movie. I'll give any movie. Basketball? Nothing. Basketball. Nothing. No. This is, number three is probably Space Jam, believe it or not. Also in the nineties, right? Yeah. So like, you're naming movies that were like a part of like you know like us being really young. So yeah, like. But if Blue Chips came out now, I would still throw it in there. But they couldn't do that now. They, exactly. Who are you putting in that movie that can be Penny and Jack? Exactly. And who's who, going to be Nick, Nick Nolte? Nolte? Forget. Get kick balls in the stands. No, it's not going to happen. So it's hard to like say that. Like, I didn't watch this new Space Jam. I can't. No, I can't. No, because it can it's never be. That. Can never be Jordan now. Can never. Like, why'd you even do that? He's like, he's like, you're the best boy. Like, you're not Jordan. Like, Jordan was, you know, like, nobody's doing that. That was meant for him, for Jordan. So it's hard to say what's good now because every movie from then sucks. What like, a shame. There, there isn't even a basketball movie in the last 10 years. How many good football movies are there? Recently or in general? Ever. Oh, I can give you three good ones right now. I got a few in my head. I'm I a know. football guy. We're going to name the same three. I'm a football guy, too. The program. Number one. Is it number one for you? Yeah. I, that's because that's like... Come on, Varsity Blues, bro. Number two. <sighs> it's tough for me. But Varsity that's... Blues is like not... The, like, the program is like... It's different. You ask any football player who played in the 90s, which I didn't, but I was a child. Like, I still quote the program. Till this day. I know. I watched the program when I played in college, and that was not in the 90s. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, that. that's like, for me, I still know that whole movie. Like... Nah, nobody's fucking with the program. Varsity Blues, yes. Varsity Blues, come on. And then you got, believe it or not, is... Don't say it. You don't you know say, what I'm going to say. This is going to shock you. Like it's not really a football movie, but it is. Don't. Yeah. What? No. Did you say The that? original Longest Yard. The Burt Reynolds. Yes. You don't, you, you don't like that movie. Good movie. The Mean Machine? Yeah. Good <laughs> movie, man. I don't like the one with Adam Sandler. And it's not the same. Destroyed it. No, I, I would. I wasn't gonna say that. For what were you gonna say? My third movie. I know. Uh, I know what your. I know what your third movie is. But say it. it's. I know it's, what you're gonna do when I say it, and I don't want you to desecrate. I'm gonna do the impression. I don't want to because it's my movie. Don't don't desecrate. Forget it. Me. No, you're not gonna say. I'm you. doing it. You're not even thinking my movie. Oh, a hundred percent. I'm. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're write not. it down. Write that down. You're not thinking my movie. I'll write it down. You're not thinking my movie. Yep. It's not. You're not. You're not. Watch this. We're gonna do a little test. Hundred percent. Go ahead. Write your. Write it down. And I'll say it after you got it done. And then you tell me if you got it right. I swear to God, you didn't get this. There's no way you got this. Nobody, like, people like this, but they don't like it. Okay. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Any given Sunday. <laughs> he did! Steven Willie no, Beeman. How come Moby can My name that? is Willie. Of course I got Willie it. Willie Beeman. Of course. Bro, how do you not like that movie? I said I like it. Oh, so I said. No, great movie. Come on. Phenomenal movie. LL Cool J. Oh, forget about Jamie that. Jamie Foxx. Just forget it. Dennis Quaid. Al Pacino. Oh, come on. Bill Bellamy. Yeah. <laughs> Jim Brown. Great movie. Oh my God. That movie is, that is literally like well put together. That's like the blue chips to me for football. If anything. <sighs> Has to be. But the movie sucked. Terrible movie. <laughs> but Blue Chips was the good. The filming, the editing, it no, was everything. Good. Yeah, they, exactly. they didn't even use the right but, but, they, but it was okay. Like, L.O. Cool J, like, got. The sharks, right? Yeah. yeah, it's bad. Bill Bellamy, right? He's like, in the fucking, like, they, they played, like, the Dallas 
nights with the fucking yeah. crowd. Oh god. But great movie. Yeah. Oh, great movie. Honorable mention goes to the faculty. Football movie? <laughs> yeah, all right. Stan. <laughs> You know what was a good? What I heard was a good movie. I never saw it. it was the one with McConaughey, with, with the oh, you know the other one, the replacements. I was gonna say that, kind of reach, but it was yeah. I was gonna say it after terrible the terrible movie, but good movie though. Yeah, it's yeah. Good. yeah. It's good. Very that good. field goal kicker was amazing. McConaughey. Yeah. Oh, with, what we are Marshall? Yes, that, that's true though. True story. I know it's a shame. I'm not gonna say this one because you're gonna hate it. Same genre. I know what you're gonna say. I already know. Do you want me to write this one down too? <laughs> All right. I know you. No, this one, one hundred percent. If you don't get this, I'll be shocked. You know this one. No way. It's not a good movie, but like it was good back then. It was good. Go ahead. <laughs> this guy's good. You're not even gonna write the name of the movie. You're no, writing, I'm gonna write something. Yeah, funny. you're writing like this piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. It's probably no. You know, it's probably not a gridiron guy. Oh no, but that is a good movie. I thought you, you always go with this. Water is bad. Oh my god, Water Boy. Yeah, it's not a football movie, but it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Dude, actually, okay. Gridiron Gang I liked, believe it or not. It's a good movie. Good movie. That's now, a true story, too. Now that you're on that topic, comedians, prime comedians. Today? No, like, as far as comedians in their prime, who had a run like Adam Sandler? In a movie or stand-up? In general. Where? Eddie Murphy. I Yes, I agree with that. There's, there's a, I feel like every time there's a title for Funniest Man on Earth, where the, the guy's in every movie, the most recent I can think of is probably Kevin Hart. Where Kevin Hart was in every fucking movie, every stand-up special was Kevin Hart. Like yes. he was everywhere. Adam Sandler had a run where yeah, he, he had like them. five movies where they were like. And then, ironically, my favorite is not a comedy. Don't don't say don't don't say it with the Absolutely. gems. Don't say the gems. That was my favorite. Don't movie say the gems. Did. I'm not you saying saw it, it right. I'm not watching it again. Yes, I did. You didn't he like fucking it? goatee. I can't. I can't. Oh, it's it. great. He's brilliant. I, oh, I'm surprised they would like that. Lost in the Shuffle is the fact that Adam Sandler is probably one of the most humble and brilliant actors. Yeah. Ever. Yes, he's phenomenal. Absolutely. Uh, did, you didn't like the Zohan, and I did. Uh, Great movie. It's so weird to me. Yeah, it's kind of phenomenal. And what threw me off was I didn't like John Turturro in that movie. He's in every movie in Adam Sandler. Yeah, but I didn't like that role he played. But he's in every Adam uh, Sandler movie. You know that. Like, I'm not exaggerating. Yeah. John Turturro is in every Adam Sandler movie. Was he in movie. Billy Madison? No, there's a time, a point that wasn't from when, this point on. When he, he started was, the Happy Madison right, Company, Mr. D. Steve Buscemi, yeah. uh, the dude that's in the Water Boy, I forget his name. Like, there's a certain, there's a group about Rob ten Schneider. people. Later, they're in every yes. Adam Sandler movie. Yes, and yes, he's in that. Steve Buscemi, what the fuck, Eli is is one of them. Yes, but I just I don't know. It's good. It's and I want it. It's good. <laughs> you know it's a good movie. Remember that show? What? The Boardwalk Empire. Great show. Wow. HBO shows, it's probably like two or three. Sopranos is one. You don't like Sopranos. The Wire is two. Like you don't Sopranos. like The Wire. And I can't watch The Wire. You never watch The Wire? No. The Wire is number. And the Wire is brilliant. The Wire is brilliant. Number three, you didn't watch this either. Oz. Ugh. Yeah, I know you're. I, I, I know I why you didn't watch it. No, because I know why. How do you watch it? I watched it as a kid. The Wire. I, mean, I was like a fucking boy. Like I was like three, four years. That's old. what scarred me from it. I can give you a couple of scenes that I didn't want to watch. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's true. But, like, back then, shows were good. Like, give me another syndicated television show that came on that was like that. The Wire, Sopranos, Oz. Like, that run that HBO had. Another run. Those are runs. Like, what other station? Power. It's probably the last one I can think of. And you don't really, like, you love Power, but you can't stand it. Which yeah, is weird. It's weird. I love I Power. I so much more from that show. <laughs> well, you don't even watch the new ones. No. You don't watch Tariq? Can't do it. You don't watch Kanan? You're not gonna watch Tommy? He took the two best people out of it. They made shows off of it. Is Tom Tommy and Ghost aren't even in it? Ghost is that. That's what I'm saying. So it would be Tommy hard. got his own show. He does? Yeah. It's gotta be terrible. I haven't watched it. Exactly. It's not out yet. Exactly. Kanan show's good. Come on, man! He's a boy, Kanan's a teenager. Cause you know he's like, yo, we're back in You know? And like even Tariq's show is actually good. It's good. I was gonna watch it just for Mary J. Blige, but I. Can't. Oh, she's another one. That ageless. Oh, she's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. Mary J. Blige is like she might be the only woman I've ever seen that I had a crush on in three decades. Because yeah. even back then when she did the Method Man shit, like, and then like 2010, she had to do something. How tall is she? Like seven three. I don't know. I remember when she was in the video she with Lil' Kim sitting on a staircase. She was at the top of the staircase and her feet were at the bottom. Lil' Kim was another crush, too. Lil' Kim, too. 
She had that gold outfit. You don't remember that, do you? What, in, in Crush Black. on You? Or? No. Um, I was thinking of the, the, the Queen Bee I album. Can Love You Better. Oh, doo, 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 yeah. yeah, and the motorcycle. Say, but Mary J. Blige was sitting at the top of the steps, and her feet were at the bottom of the, of the landing. She was 7'3", easily. Do you know something that still bothers me about that, like oh, that boy. song you're talking about? What? Little Kim, there's a line in the song, she says, Sitting on your Ninja Honda. Honda. Yeah, with Tanisha and Rhonda. There's no such thing. What, oh. Ninja Honda? A Ninja's a Kawasaki. Yeah. Still bothers me to this day. That's not a Ninja Honda, it's a Kawasaki Ninja. Or a Honda something. But that bothered me to this day. Don't ask me why. Little Kim was another one though. Remember that? Oh, okay, I can't even really like get graphic. But you remember the cover where she was sitting with the, with the knees Forget out it. and the somebody recre who recreated it? I think it was Nicki Minaj. Was it Nicki Minaj? I think it was. You know what I'm talking about who though. Who did it better? You you can't ask me a prepubescent child. <laughs> say, well, Kim did it better. Hell yeah! Wow. Do, do you understand how good she looked in the, in the Crush on You video? Yeah. With the blue and the and yellow and pretty. Remember when my music videos were good like that? Yeah. Like. <laughs> Every music video back then was them in one room, but it changed colors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? And it was like, and then we were blue, and then it would go yellow, and then it'd be green and orange and purple, and they were like, the room was always spinning. It was always like, and then like the whole fucking room would change. Yeah. And I, that was back when Jay Z did music videos and he never moved. He was like, well, music videos were a thing back then. Like, it was different. You know, like, it's just like, for, like, there's just so much shit that was different about that. Like, I don't know. Like, remember Biggie? He's about Abby. You just saw him. Man, that was awesome, bro. He was... Hey, 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 hey. Are you Sinbad? What is that? That's a rough awesome movie. Wow. Good one. Yeah. Yeah. Sinbad. That's up there. Fucking Pate. Robert Waggia. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, heart attack. And Ed Edge straight out of Janeiro. Oh, forget it. Wow. It was a case of indigestion. <laughs> You're alive. <laughs> you can't see it. I'm done. That's it. Listen, I gotta go. <laughs> After that, Robert Logic. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>